Hello, my name is Ethan Johnston. I'm part of Group 16, B00828763. Today I'll be presenting the greatest innovation in toilet tech since the Squatty Potty, the toilet paper tracker, also known as the TPT. Without further ado, here it is. This is a very early prototype of the TPT. Um, the problem it solves is it identifies how much toilet paper each user in a household is using and provides accountability to reduce paper waste and minimize the amount of toilet paper usage between roommates. This is a problem because roommates often share costs when it comes to paper towel or toilet paper and some roommates use more toilet paper than others and so it becomes an issue of like splitting the cost equally and if one user uses more toilet paper than the other, it's unfair for them to pay the same amount. I will be demonstrating all the essential functions of the keypad, as well as showing you the serial interface, which is to represent a the IoT aspect. This would be in a web browser or a smartphone app and a, a record of all of each user's like total sheets used per month will be sent to your email on a monthly basis. Um, I will be demonstrating the master user function and how all the settings can be configured, which changes the user pins, resets user sheet counts, changes the number of sheets dispensed per cycle, and displays a list of all users' current total sheets used. I will also show how the toilet paper tracker dispenses toilet paper and via motion and show what happens when that roll of toilet paper is depleted and the alarm that goes off. Um, a description of our delivery. Up here is the motion sensor, which is used to dispense the toilet paper. When motion is given to the motion sensor, the servo spins a four to one gearing ratio. This servo spins this bar, which has elastics around it to provide grip. This is a free floating device which rotates around this axis. It, it's put just held constant force via gravity to allow for the changing diameters of the toilet paper rolls. Um, the servo is modified to rotate continuously. So instead of only rotating 180 degrees, it can now spin just like a normal motor. Under here is a Hall effect sensor right there and a magnet right above it. And if it's at the right position, which is when the toilet paper roll is depleted, it will trigger the alarm, which is located here, the speaker module. Um, here's the microcontroller, here's the keypad. All parts are printed within the four cubic inches of plastic constraint. Our test conditions are in this lovely bathroom. Um, it's a great environment. It's mounted on the wall right beside the toilet. Ideally, this would be off the wall, but this isn't complete yet. So obviously I'm not gonna take it down. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So let's start by going through the user functions. So the, the user, the serial monitor outputs this to the screen. The number key restarts or resets your current pin entry. And then you press your four digit pin on the keypad. So let's go to user one, which is one, 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 one. Welcome user one. Oh, it's not focused. Welcome user one. Your current sheet count is zero. Press zero when you want to complete the session. So now the user is free to wave their hand above. It dispenses, I believe, six sheets. It's either three or six by default and then it shows that motion has been detected. To exit the user, I press zero. Users one, yeah, so it's six. Oh, six per dispense. User one is finished. Let's go to user two, which is four twos. Welcome user one, your current sheet total is zero. Let's use user one's profile dispensing. We're it's shown that it's dispensing. There's also a timeout. If I just sit, leave this like this in this user profile without exiting manually, after two minutes, 
it times out and goes back to the main function to where a new pin must be entered. So now let's exit manually and enter the master function, which is the pin code, oh, the pin code 2203. And here's all the options for the master function. So let's reset user one's password at, to begin. So I press one and then it prompts me with what do you want your new password to be? I go one, two, three, four. It recognizes one, two, three, four. Now I'm free to go back to the main, men, the main options. So let's uh, reset user five sheet count. Five is what I click or user one sheet count. So use five is what I click and then display all sheet counts by clicking nine. So see, we just reset user one cause that was at six before. So now if we reset user two, which is the six key, six, and then click nine again, it will all be cleared. And then we can, that's those, the star resets the number of sheets per cycle or it sets it so I can change it instead of six sheets is dispensed per cycle. I, let's change it to uh, like four. So that would be the star key, star four, now set to four. Um, let's exit out of the master function with zero. And now let's enter into user one with one, two, three, four. So now we're into user one with the new pin and let's, let's activate the new roll. Oh no, we're out of toilet paper or paper towel or <laughs> toilet paper. I need to replace the roll. So to do so, it's simple as lifting this up, pulling it off, taking a new roll, lifting this up, putting it in and we're good to go. It's way easier to do with two hands, but I am holding the camera. So now the buzzer has stopped and now we're back into the main menu where we can enter a user's code again. So let's do one, two, three, four again. We're in the user. If I wave my hand, six, five, or four more sheets was dispensed. As you can see, once we quit by clicking zero, it says four and yeah, that's about it. We've demonstrated all the functionality, the keypad, the speaker, the Arduino, the four to one gearing ratio, the motion sensor, the Hall effect sensor, which is back there now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the toilet paper trackers demonstration. And it's going to be on the market soon. You better buy it on Amazon.